Well, hello there. My name is Stacy, and this is my hubby Rikus. At the moment, we are in the Kruger, one of our favorite places on earth. Today, we travel from Puturiaskop to Lower Sabi. Stick with us for a jam packed day full of sightings and a bird lifer we thought we could only dream of. Rikus, 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 a story. Good morning from Pretorius Copper Race Camp. It is 20 past 5. 20 past 5. Our car has been parked from like 10 past right in front of the gate. We've been hearing bush babies all morning. So we parked the car and now we're going to come and try and find the bush baby. But we are first at the gate so we'll be back before the like quarter to 22 to be first out the gate. Yeah. <laughs> Happy time. about that, Bricks. Yeah. We scored. Five minutes. We scored five minutes this morning, Reeks. Yay! <laughs> So we just had a leopard cross the road, but it was so quick. It was quite a young leopard. Almost all we could see was the tail and the back. But a leopard nonetheless. I don't know what is worse though, Rix. Is it worse to not see it? Have somebody else tell you, oh, a leopard just ran across the road? Or is it worse to actually see the leopard and not get any photos or video of it? I don't know what's worse. Both, as it's... Down the side. <laughs> yeah, at least we saw the bum of a leopard. Still pretty cool that we got a leopard. <laughs> Super cool. Literally, we were just saying that it's sad that we didn't see any clip springers at Pretoria Skop. Your words weren't even cold, Rick. Rick still made a funny joke that do all, they also migrate. And we came around the corner, and yeah, are four clip springers in the road. In the road. <laughs> and anybody who knows clip springers, you don't often get them in the road. They are usually over there. Yeah. They fall on the. On the rocks, on the copies. On the copies. That was cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Super happy that we got them. I'm yeah. happy. Stace, I have so many questions. <laughs> when you forget your pair of scissors, <laughs> you use an owl clipper. You make do. You make do. That's why my coffee's cold. <laughs> it's still it's still boiling, it's fine.
Rex, we got the otters. Can you believe it? Very, very, very quickly. But uh, we spotted them very well. It was crazy. The two of them were running and the Egyptian geese um, chased them over the little bank or the island or whatever you call it. And then they swam a little bit, dived into the water and they are gone. Both of them. But so cool that it was one of our things that we really wanted to see this holiday and we got it. Now just a fun oh. food, quick and easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just quickly. Quick and, and easy. Super cool, I'm so happy. stoked after seeing the otters that we decided to stick around a bit longer and see if they pop up again. After almost an hour of sitting on the bridge, enjoying the abundance of birds and wildlife in this small area, something incredible happened. Rikus, 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 yeah. is that fun food? Rikus, look! Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> this is fun <laughs> food! <gasps> Mia! Mia! What is this? Mia! <gasps> Is it? Yeah. Is it? Guys, I'm shaking. I'm literally shaking. My heart is beating out of my chest. I called it. We waited like a half an hour for the otters and we were just waiting to see if they'll pop up again, maybe, because we've, I mean, it's amazing. Seeing the otters is absolutely incredible. Yeah. Like, I don't think I've ever seen otters in the yeah. park. So we were waiting for the otters and the otters didn't pop up and then I saw something swim across the river yeah so I quickly recorded because I'm thinking it's the otters maybe it wasn't the otter Ricky it was I the freaked African out. fun food I can't believe it it's been something that our family has been searching for for years and years and years in the park and we have never seen it like my heart is beating so fast at the moment like we've been searching it for it yeah. for years and Ricky it swam so beautifully in front of us it wasn't even just like a fast sighting it was incredible it was insane how do you feel Rick? you say you've got goosebumps I literally have goosebumps like my heart is beating so fast I feel like I have like the biggest adrenaline rush yeah. under the sun from a bird from a bird but it's so cool and, and we keep on telling the people what we saw in English Afrikaans whatever you want to call it <laughs> like okay okay and then they go, I'm like this is so cool like my heart is yeah. beating so fast like I can't believe it so a tip from us is when you come yeah what bridge is this Rick? it's this the, is the first uh, like ooh. Big bridge on your way from Skakuza to Lower Salt. Yeah, between um, Skakuza and Kulu, we just popped yeah. yeah even before Nukulu. Yeah. yeah, so come sit yeah for like an hour or more and just yeah. enjoy it. I mean, we've, we've been sitting here for a long time and there's kingfishers, there's freaking hawk eagle, egrets everything so come yeah. and sit yeah it's enjoy the while. view and if you if you are lucky like us today we were flipping lucky um then you will see the fin food and 
otters. Like oh. we we haven't seen one lion in how many days? But I couldn't, I couldn't care, care less. less. No, because I've seen lions before. Yeah, it's still amazing. Yeah. Lions, a leopard is one of my favorite Absolutely. animals to see in the park. Still amazing, but this is just wow. Wow, like the, I don't know if you'll see it in our lifetimes again, the fin foot. The otters was already special. Yeah, they already super special. amazing. And then the fin foot was like, okay, let's make Stacy and Rikus' day yeah. so much better. So while Goodness. Rikus was busy filming the fin foot on this side and then it disappeared, yeah. the otters popped up yeah, right next to me again. And um, they were they are super naughty yeah. animals. They are so naughty. They are they were chasing a crocodile and the crocodile like chased them. So I'm sad we didn't get that. We recorded a yeah. bit too late, or that's when we saw them again. Yeah. But um, yeah, they were super naughty and then they went back to the Egyptian geese and chased them again. Super naughty. But anyway, let's see if we can find the otters of Fimfus again. Yeah, cheers. A very special moment in time. Very, very special moment. After about an hour and a half of sitting there on the bridge, because we were just embracing this moment that we just went through, we finally decided to leave. We're going to do the little triangle. Unfortunately, Rix, but we'll we will come back definitely. Sure. Yo, I just can't believe it. So that's um. Hopefully, we don't cause a traffic jam on that bridge. But my tip will be to go and sit on that bridge and just watch, because the otters came back quite a few times afterwards. Yeah. They kept on popping up and then going again and then popping up. So I think that is the area that they stay in. Happy Ricky! Yo! Happy!
another leopard crossed the road. I don't think they're going to believe us yeah. afterwards. <laughs> I luckily got video of the impala snorting, yeah. but literally just in front of us, ran across the road. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful leopard. But the night, I think he went deeper in, and the bush is quite thick, yeah. So now you won't see him. But anyway, at least we saw him, but sorry, no footage no of footage. the leopard. So second leopard of the day with no footage. Can't believe it. And it's two o'clock, smack bang in the middle of the day when they aren't supposed to be that active or that is the worst time for game viewing. So yeah, but, but we'll you see. Can't, we another tip. You can't see it if you're not in the bush. You can't see it if you're not so driving. Even if yeah. you are driving at two o'clock in the afternoon, you still have, have a chance. chance. You still have a chance. We arrived at Lower Sabi before check-in time at 2, so we decided to sit at Sunset Dam for a while. Right, so welcome to hut number 47. So this is very, very basic, but if we are not camping, this is basically luxury. So we have a fridge, a place to snore in the evening, some cupboard space, and that's it. And I like a bra outside. And very almost tranquil, tranquil view. Uh, usually, low sabi can be very uh, busy, for lack of a better word. But this is perfect. So we're gonna spend the next three nights here. It's gonna be amazing. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> after checking in, we went to our little hut and decided to have a nap after a very exciting day. Rick has heard some knocking outside and found a breeding pair of black collared barbets busy fixing up their nest right outside our door. So we are on our way for our evening drive. We just stopped at camp. Rika took some photos of birds and I went for a very nice shower before it gets too busy. And now we are going to go for a little evening drive. We are literally just going to go to the low water bridge, drive over it, and then we are going to go back to Sunset Dam for a sunset, Rix. That sounds appropriate.
So we are at Lower Shabi tonight, having a little fry and keep on hearing the screech and I realize we know that sound very well from the Khalakhadi Eriks uh, Juvenile the row. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, maybe we can go look for it, but it can be other side the fence somewhere. We can take the trouble and do it. No, for sure. We it's can no, it's no trouble. But we're going to have like a braai tonight. What's on the menu, Riggs? We have a big menu because we are cooking for lunch tomorrow as well. Yeah. But we have some lamb riblets, which is for tonight. Yeah. Some uh, jalapeno poppers, which is really a surprise to everyone, I think. <laughs> um, we don't at all love our jalapeno poppers. Then uh, some diced sweet and sour beetroot, uh, freshly boxed salad. <laughs> freshly and boxed. And then uh, we have for tomorrow some some cheese rollers wrapped in bacon and some uh, deboned rib patties, just for lunch, for tomorrow, lunch tomorrow, just like for some it. snacks. All yeah. right, but let's enjoy the bar and enjoy the evening with the hippo and sounds and the varro sounds and everything. Not the Rika sounds, the hippo sounds. Do you hear the row? Amazing. We are calling. We are trying to figure out So we got the Vero that was calling. It was actually pretty funny. Um, because and I started walking and we stopped to listen where the Vero was coming from. And he said, We look like crazy. <laughs> we look like crazy people. And he was like, This way. And I said, This way at the same time. And we're like, Literally. And he I looks at me all confused. The exact opposite direction. The exact opposite direction. And then we listen again and we're like, But it is that way. And then we listen again, but it is that way. And then we listen, But it's that way. And then there were three different Vero, juvenile Vero's calling at the same time so I don't know if they are calling each other but it's pretty cool and then we went to the one that's closest to us literally just behind our bathrooms and we walked between the two trees because we kept on hearing it call so we look in the tree and walked to the other tree and kept on going like that hearing it call and it was sitting on the roof yeah, between, the two trees. <laughs> between the two trees so yeah that was pretty funny um, but we got him and Ricky got a beautiful photo of him with the, in the, with the moon in the background. Well, it's not the sun. I see. <laughs> Very nice. So I'm happy. But they are still calling. See, so yeah, there are three amazing. calling. It's always Let's a nice sound. Mm. Yeah. It's so amazing how the it contrasts between the screeching of the juvenile and the deep woo woo of the oh you hear it of the um, adult, which is so cool. So we haven't heard an adult in a while, I must say. I think the last time I was on Shindueti Bridge was the last time we heard an uh, adult Vero. But anyway, let's get back to a bribe. Oh. <laughs> Riggy, the one thing we forgot is hanging in the tree in front of us. A bright tongue. <laughs> a bright tongue. I don't know how we forgot a bright tongue, but in any case. I'm sorry. Currently, this was my right arm. And then we saw this in the tree. How crazy was that? This is in front of the hut. We were speaking about it. I thought we like saw a bush baby saying, What's in the tree? <laughs> like, I'm looking up once again. <laughs> Like a day, ne? Wow, what a day! That was brilliant. Are you happy with what yes, we've seen so was far? Incredible. It was really, really insane. Couldn't ask for more. Really, no. you can't. But let's go to sleep. So, uh, press all the buttons. We'll see you guys in the morning. Cheers. Thank you for joining us on this awesome day in the Kruger. It is truly a day that we will never forget. If we have misidentified any of the birds, please drop us a comment. Stay tuned for more amazing Kruger sightings and lots of little owls. Like and subscribe if you want to join us on the rest of our trip. We will see you in the next vlog. Rikus, 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 a story fun food. Rikus, kijk. Kijk, 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 kijk. Dit is food. Nia. 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 Leslie, Leslie, look, look, it's not a fin food.